Beavers are those furry animals known for transforming landscapes into their preferred pond habitats. We have two very similar species in existence today. What most people don't know is that there once existed over 30 genera of beavers, and around half of them were small upland animals that created burrows, like these spiralized tunnels first known as devil's corkscrews. There's a 60-fold size difference among the aquatic beaver species. Here's the skull of a modern North American beaver, Castor canadensis, with three centimeter long incisors that can impressively cut down trees. And here is the skull of an extinct giant beaver, Castoroides ohioensis, likely the largest rodent to have ever existed, possibly reaching the size of a modern black bear. This juvenile female, found in 1889, is part of the most complete fossil giant beaver skeleton ever found, and was once daringly and lovingly rescued from a burning building by Earlham College students. Despite sporting these giant chompers, she probably didn't cut down and eat trees, but fed on aquatic vegetation in ponds. With a warmer and drier climate at the end of the last ice age, giant beavers went extinct about 10,000 years ago. I'm Heather Lerner, an evolutionary biologist at Earlham College and the director of the Joseph Moore Museum. I'm part of a research team from the US and Germany that wanted to know when beavers became aquatic and when they started cutting trees, two behaviors that are important to their success today. Since DNA degrades with exposure to UV light and changing temperature and humidity, we sample from parts of the fossils that would be most likely to protect DNA. That is, within the densest bones or teeth protected by enamel. At the University of Potsdam, we used a two-day DNA extraction procedure specially optimized to isolate tiny fragments of DNA, just 100 base pairs or less. In order to compare the giant beaver to other rodents, we needed to use DNA from the same region of the genome for all of the species. To do so, we used mitochondrial DNA from a modern beaver to capture the giant beaver's DNA. First, we copied the mitochondrial genome in two overlapping pieces from a roadkill beaver. Then we blasted these long pieces of DNA with ultrasonic sounds to chop them into smaller pieces and added small sequences of DNA, called adapters, to their ends. And we had beaver baits! By mixing the beaver baits with our ancient DNA, we created double-stranded sequences where one half was from the giant beaver and the other from a modern beaver. To separate any DNA that didn't hybridize, we used a special molecular biology trick. One of our adapters had a biotin molecule attached to it. The affinity between biotin and tryptavidin is the strongest known non-covalent biological interaction, so when we added magnetic beads coated in tryptavidin to our hybridized DNA, within 20 minutes, our baits were attached to magnetic beads. By placing the tubes in a magnetic tray, the baits, still hybridized with our ancient DNA, were pulled over to the walls of the tube. Using a standard pipette, we removed any DNA that didn't hybridize. Later, we used a magnet to separate the baits from our captured ancient DNA. We needed to determine if our captured DNA was actually from a giant beaver. With modern DNA, you might get long reads, but our average size under 50 base pairs was in the range expected for 11,000-year-old DNA. Then we looked for the kinds of degradation that happens as DNA ages. We found C to T substitution rates as high as 25% in the first base in our sequences, again in line with ancient DNA. Finally, we compared against potential mammalian contaminants, such as lab rats, humans, or even burgers. Our 7,686 base pairs of DNA most closely resembled modern beaver, allowing us to be confident that we now had nearly half the mitochondrial genome of a giant beaver. We found that modern beavers were the closest relatives of the extinct giant beaver in our study, a relationship dating back 19.7 million years. Since modern and giant beaver species all share traits related to an aquatic lifestyle, we can be confident that beavers have been aquatic for at least 20 million years. Aquatic adaptations are also present in a nearly 23 million year old extinct beaver, Stenia fiber, including a notched combing claw used by modern beavers to waterproof their fur. So it's likely the beavers became aquatic even before our estimated 19.7 million years. Tree cutting behavior, found in the two modern species, was estimated by our study to be at least 7.7 .7 million years old. The oldest verified fossils of beaver cut logs, however, are only 4 to 5 million years old, from the extinct beaver Dipoides. Using our DNA data, we can say that tree cutting behavior is likely almost twice as old as the fossil record shows. Using ancient DNA, we were able to study changes in behavior that occurred millions of years ago. And who knows, with new methods pushing the limits of DNA sequencing older and older, DNA from other extinct beavers might be able to help us answer more questions about these fascinating and environmentally important species.